Hello guys, today I'm gonna tell you about virtual machines and definitely on Azure. So before I tell you how to create a virtual machine on Azure, I wanted to explain you the kinds of virtual machines that exist on Azure. So as you can see here, there are two kinds of virtual machines. One just says a virtual machine, which is the latest kind of virtual machine. And the other one is a classic version of the virtual machine. So what exactly is the difference between these two versions and which one to choose is a question that everyone will have. And I'm going to explain you what are, you know, the high level differences between uh, these two kinds of virtual machines. And to do that, I'm going to step back and explain you about the history of Azure. So when Azure came up and when it hit the market initially, this was not the portal they had. This blue jazzy portal which you see here is, is the latest portal of Azure. And when Azure came initially, it had a different portal which didn't look this, you know, jazzy or which wasn't this user friendly, I should say. So when I started my development on Azure, I was using the previous portal. So I have it open here for you guys. And the, the URL is managed.windowsazure.com. It's, it's still working. You can, you can navigate there and check out things you that things that you have here in the old portal. And you can see now they also have, you know, a button on the top which says check out the new portal so basically this is your new portal the one which we use these days so coming back to virtual machines now the major difference about the classic virtual machine and the latest kind of virtual machine is in the way these virtual machines are deployed so that is the you know basic difference that I can provide you about these two virtual machines. So classic virtual machines are the only virtual machines that you can find in the old portal. By which I mean any virtual machine that you create using the old portal, you would be creating the classic virtual machine. And in case you had created a classic virtual machine uh, on your previous portal, and when you came to this new portal and started using this portal it should still be up and running here and that's the reason why this kind of virtual machines that's a classic virtual machine is still supported in the latest portal right now going you know a little deeper into the difference i i already mentioned the major difference is the way it is deployed so when azure started out uh, this api called uh, service management api was being used and it's it's served the purpose pretty good at, at those times but later when you know things changed and when there was a lot of user requests on a lot of things microsoft instead of tweaking the service management api or sm api came up with a new api which is called azure resource manager api or the arm so all the latest virtual machines which you deploy uses the ARM API, whereas the previous one uses the SM API or the Service Management API. So uh, the difference uh, majorly in these APIs are more about access control and permission, majorly about access control and these kind of uh, virtual machines, the classic virtual machines, are not the way going forward. So I would definitely recommend you and Microsoft definitely recommends creating your virtual machines with, you know, this, uh, this kind of virtual machines, the latest virtual machines and not the classic ones. So basically it has advantages for you around uh, access control and stuff like that. And it is obviously advised to create this kind of virtual machine. So that is the high level difference about the two kinds of virtual machines that you have on Azure. And I'll explain you how to create a virtual machine in the next video. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Thank you.